due to. And as you guys just saw, my boy used Kamui while he's in Kenjutsu, which is pretty dope. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. Hey you, yes you, why haven't you clicked that subscribe button, or turn on notifications, you might as well click the like button, thank you. Your boy is going to be doing a $10 Roblox card giveaway guys, every single week. If you guys want to have a good chance of winning the giveaway, all you have to do is complete all the steps guys. Alright guys, so make sure you guys leave a like on the video, click the first link in the description guys. Once you click the first link, make sure you guys click accept invite to join my Otutuski clan. Also, make sure you guys join my Smoky Pyro Crew Discord. Click the second link in the description and make sure you guys accept the invite. Once you click the third link in the description, click accept invite to join my Blocks Online Development Server, the game I'm working on. If you guys want to hop on my private server, click the link right next to where it says private server and you can hop on my private server whenever you want. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, go for it, and you're going to have a better chance of winning if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Salem so I'm back with another video, guys. I'm going to be showing you some tricks that could help you become OP on an RPG and help you in combat, so check it out. I right, check it out. I'm about to use Kamui and put my boy in Kanjutsu. All right, so I just put my boy in Kanjutsu, and as you guys just saw my boy use Kamui while he's in Kenjutsu, which is pretty dope. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. When somebody's about to use Kamui on you, hold tap. If you hold tap and then he successfully puts you in Kamui, you could use any move while you're in his Kenjutsu. As you guys just saw, I used Kamui on him and put him in Kenjutsu. I could also use Rain or any other move, including Sosano. Um, flying Thunder God, which is pretty dope. Basically any move, you can use any move while you're in his Kenjutsu and he can't see, which is pretty dope. Alright guys, check it out. My boy um, taught me a cool trick where I could dodge Madara Sasano user and kill him basically. Because a lot of people that have Madara Sasano are pretty OP and this trick is going to help you dodge Madara Sasano and take out any Madara Sasano user easily guys. So check it out. Um, you must have Momushiki. Once you have your Momushiki KG equipped, um place the first move on any box you want so in this case i put my first momushiki move in the box with the letter r since i have the first move of momushiki in the box with the letter r i'm going to click the letter r on the keyboard to activate the move so once i click the letter r on the keyboard it's going to activate the move and i'm going to hold tab so while you're blocking and you're ready to use the move just right click your mouse to activate the move to start using the move and Continue to hold tab to stay blocking as you can see the strikes isn't damaging me because I'm blocking and I'm also using the move which is which is allowing me to reflect the strikes towards my opponent and the strikes are doing damage to him instead of me and that's why Momoshiki is Madara's number one weakness. Alright guys so check it out my boy is going to be showing you five good moves that you could use on an RPG and he's going to be explaining why these five moves are really good to use in combat and what they're capable of doing so check it out. Kamui is the fifth best move. The reason why Kamui is one of the best moves in the game is, is because it's unblockable, does damage, and makes you able to attack your opponent as much as you want while they're in the Kenjutsu, which is pretty OP, guys. The fourth best move to use on the game is Roshan. The reason why it's the fourth best move to use in the game is because if you activate it and people try to attack you when they're behind the gates, they can't because the gates reflect their attacks. And if, they're, and if you're the user, you could easily use an attack and it easily goes through the gates, which is pretty OP. But if you, if your opponent tries to attack you while you have Russian activated, Russian is going to block their move, which is pretty OP. Alright, so my boy just activated Russian. So I'm going to use the last move on the Momushiki KG and see if we could go through the gates and damage uh, my boy. It failed, as you can see. Check it out, guys. He activated Russian. Now he's going to use a move. As you just saw, he used the move and it went through the gates and it damaged me. The reason why he's able to do that is because he's a user. If you're the user of the Russian, you could easily use any move and the move could easily go through the gates. But if you're not the user of the Russian, then your move will easily get reflected by the gates, which is pretty OP. The third best move on the game is Momushiki KG's second move, which is the Red Axe. The reason why it's the third best move on the game is because... It does a good amount of damage towards your opponent, gives you all your chakra back, and steals all the chakra from your opponent, and disables Madara Sasano easily, guys, which is pretty OP. 
Alright guys, check it out. The second best move on the game is Dragon Cut. The reason why it's the second best move in the game is because um, you could use it on your opponent. Even though he's blocking, it still does damage to him. A good amount of damage. So, if you go up to your opponent and he's blocking and you use it on him, it does a good amount of damage on him. Even though he's blocking. So, it's, it's basically unblockable. Which is pretty OP. And it does a lot of damage. The first best move to use on the game is Rain. The reason why Rain is the first best move on the game is because you could easily activate it and catch your opponent off guard and it does a lot of damage. So let's say your opponent is coming at you and you activate Storm KG without him knowing. It could kill him in under 3 seconds which is pretty OP. My boy is going to be showing you a couple of tricks that will help you in combat. Hand to hand combat. No KGs. No ninjutsu involved. Um, in order to be OP in hand to hand combat, you must unlock some of the kanjutsus and some of the combos. If you unlock some of the kanjutsus and some of the combos, you could easily be OP in hand to hand combat. As you can see, my boy is about to use hand to hand combat and use some of the combos and kanjutsus, and he's going to scrub me with hand to hand combat. <laughs> As you guys just saw, my boy did a lot of damage to me with hand to hand combat which is pretty OP and he only used one move from the combo section. Also you could easily combo the first two moves in the combo section on your opponent and if you successfully combo the first two moves in the combo section on your opponent, it has a 10% chance of glitching your opponent and kicking him out the game and it also deals a lot of damage towards your opponent which is pretty OP so yeah, trust me guys. Hand tag combo is also useful in OP and an RPG. So my boy is about to combo the first two moves in the combo section. And I'm going to be showing you what happens to your opponent if you successfully combo the first two moves in the combo section. Alright, my boy just comboed the first two moves in the combo section. So it glitched me guys. So if you don't reset in time, it's going to glitch you and make you invincible. And you can't move or do anything. The only way to fix this problem is by leaving the game and rejoining. Alright guys, check it out. Uh, for you Tosei's users, check this out. My boy is about to show you guys why Jinjoki Cloak mode is better than Tosei's mode. And he'll explain to you why. So I'm just gonna put music in the background and let my boy explain why Jinjoki Cloak mode is better than Tosei's mode.
that's why Jinjuriki Cloak Mode is better than Toad Sage Mode. So next time you guys fight somebody, make sure you guys use Jinjuriki Cloak Mode instead of Toad Sage Mode. So my boy is going to be explaining why the Itachi KG is a fail. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I really appreciate it guys. Um, let me know in the comment section below if these tips and tricks end up helping you guys. Shout out to my boy. Big shout out to my boy. I'm not even going to try pronouncing his name. It's too difficult so I'm going to zoom into his name. Big shout out to my boy. I really appreciate you showing me these tricks. Um, if, you, if he never ever showed me these tricks, this video wouldn't be possible. And yeah, I would have never recorded this video in the first place. I would have ended up uploading another video. So big shout out to my boy. It's all thanks to him guys. Um, yeah, and again, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it, guys. It's been the Salem 121. Peace out.